Don't we all just want a fast website so when people come to it, it'll load fast, they will get the best user experience possible. And that's what all of us want, right? Now, the, the advice is usually typically the same. Use a caching plugin, have very good hosting, use image compression, uh, use a content delivery network. All of these advice is all the same. And when it comes to image compression, which I think you really get the most bang for the buck out of, there really hasn't been much innovation until today. I'm gonna share with you a new plugin that you can add to your website. It also hooks into a service that does things that just are not possible prior to this plugin having been released. So if making your website load faster is important to you, stick around and watch this video. Subscribe, click on that notification bell. Now what I'm talking about is a website in a service called Short Pixel. You can visit it by going to wpcrafter.com slash short pixel. Now I have to be careful in this video because I made a tutorial on this two years ago. This is a new solution they have today though. I made a tutorial two years ago and I kept calling it short pickle. So if I accidentally call it short pickle, it is what it is. Some of you old timers on the channel are definitely going to remember that video. Okay. We're taking a look at short pick pixel. There I go. Uh, and uh, we're going to go through this new plugin that they've released and what it can do for you. But before we go there, when you actually enter or visit that link, it's going to take you here to AppSumo. Now short pixel, this will be its third time coming to AppSumo. It's one of those deals that sells out really, really fast. And the reason I think they might have come back on AppSumo is because of this new plugin they released and the superpowers that it does. So let's first take a look at it. I'm going to explain this plugin. We're going to install the plugin on a website. Okay, so uh, it's very affordable. Um, this time it came back to AppSumo, it's a little bit more expensive than before, but it comes with a whole heck of a lot more and it's beyond worth it. This is something that everyone's going to want or should want. In fact, this is something I'm putting on my website. Okay, so it's 39 bucks. That's a lifetime account. This isn't per month or per year. It's a lifetime account. And you can purchase multiple ones to increase the limits of the plan. Uh, the way most image optimization services work is on a credit system. So this is no different. So for $39, a lifetime account, you get 12,000 credits per month, not per lifetime or per year, that's per month. And so each time you optimize an image, one of those credits get used. Okay, so 12,000 of those. Now what's different, and oh, also you could use this on multiple websites. Now I'm gonna explain this two words, WordPress plugin thing because they have two plugins you can use these credits on. And when you see one of them, your head is going to spin. Okay, and you can also use what they're including this year that they didn't have before is a content delivery network. That means when your website visitor goes to your website, those images are not loading from your website. They are limit, they're loading from servers all around the world that will be geographically closer to the visitor making your website load faster. So what's different this time around is the credits are higher, but there's a reason why the credits are higher that I'm going to cover. Uh, you could use it on multiple websites. You could use it on your clients' websites. You can allot a certain amount of credits on a per client basis that there would be limited to uh, the two plugins and all that. And as you stack, the CDN bandwidth goes up and the amount of images goes up. So if you're an agency or you have lots of websites or you're putting lots of images on your website, uh, you might want to scale up on this. Now, uh, what's important to note is that when you upload one image to your website, many times multiple versions, your website just makes multiple versions of it. So one image might actually equal five images. Now, if you've purchased this deal in the past, you do, did not get the CDN. And so this time around, you'll wanna purchase a deal so that you can have the CDN added. And I will say 100 gigabytes per month is a ton of bandwidth. To give you an idea, my website uses about 50 gigabytes per month of CDN. CDN bandwidth, which uh, I get, I have a lot of images on my website and I get a lot of traffic on my website. Okay, so let me show you what this two plugin thing is and 
it will make sense to you. Now, Short Pixels, just like many of the other image compression plugins, it's actually one of the better image compression plugins for WordPress. They have a free tier and they have some monthly plans. Now, there's nothing really been exciting happening in this space until this new plugin that Short Pixel has released. So uh, essentially what image compression is, is as soon as you upload an image, to your website, it's gonna take that image and it's going to make optimized versions of it that tend to be a lot smaller so that when someone visits your website, they get this smaller image. There's no loss of quality with it. Now, this is your typical standard image optimization. Now, you could manually do this, right? There are dozens of different ways to optimize your images. You can optimize them before uploading them. You There's just so many ways to optimize your images today. It's not that exciting of a thing, uh, but using it via a plugin is a huge time saver, right? So that's one less step that you have to go through for each and every image that you upload. It's just kind of a set it and forget it type of thing. You upload it, let Short Pixel uh, to do the rest. It works on a credit system and it starts chipping away at these credits. And the way it works, you upload it, uh, the image goes to their servers, they optimize it, and then they push it back to your website. It's easy, it's automated, and it just works really, really well. And as I keep saying, there's nothing exciting about that. So here's how you connect this to your website. If you go to the WordPress plugin repository or on your WordPress website, go to plugins, add new, and do a search for short pixel, normally you would get this one plugin option. And this is just what I described. You upload the image, it goes off to their server, it comes back optimized. Your website's a lot faster for it. Nothing exciting. There's dozens of plugins that do the same thing. But there's a new plugin that's right off to the side. And the title of the plugin doesn't really give you an idea of how awesome it is. It's called Short Pixel Adaptive Images. This does everything differently and it changes everything. So with this plugin, so you wouldn't use both, you would use one or the other, okay? So when you use this, what happens now is your images when someone visits, say your homepage, and there's all these images. The plugin sends it off to Short Pixel like normal, but what it does is it smartly resizes that plugin for every single device size. So for a desktop, for a mobile, for a tablet, it resizes it. You can also have it change the format of it to something called WebP, which I didn't even know about till like two years ago. WebP is kind of the future of images on the internet. And it's just not an easy thing to get working on your website. So what this will do is it will resize your, not only does it compress it, but it will resize your images and deliver them through their content delivery network on a uh, based upon the size of the device of the person visiting your website. Okay, that was like a, hard to explain what that is. What you want to know is that it's huge. As a matter of fact, if you've ever run your website through GT Metrics, they make a point right here. Did you ever test your website with tools like PageSpeed Insights or GT Metrics and receive complaints about images not being properly sized or being too large? Or, or that you should use uh, next-gen images like WebP. These are uh, different warnings that you get for performance suggestions on GT Metrics and these websites. And this plugin aims to solve all of those as well. Kind of hard to explain this one. Like the, the benefit to you is that things are gonna run a whole heck of a lot faster and be a whole heck of a lot more stable. And it's kind of set it and forget it type of thing. Now, maybe this sentence right here might uh, better explain it, where it lists what the benefits are right here. And it says uh, right here, usually the images are the biggest resource on a web page. They really are. If you look at the size of your web page, most of it, probably 70% of it's gonna be your images. So that is where you get the most uh, bang for the buck when it comes to optimizing your website. With just one click, Short Pixel Adaptive Images replaces all your website's pictures with properly sized, 
smartly cropped, optimized images and serves them uh, from ShortPixel's global content delivery network. Uh, and then this last line, which is pretty amazing. And for more Google love, the plugin serves WebP images to the right browsers automatically. So not every browser supports this new image format called WebP. The best thing is, is all this complicating stuff that I just described, none of it really matters because when you add this plugin, it just kind of does all of that for you. So right now, another big problem that you have is say you're creating a homepage layout and there's different images you're gonna have on your homepage. So you upload your image a particular size, but usually always that size is gonna be bigger than the container you put it on on your website. So what happens is it's just very inefficient. This aims to automatically fix that for you. Now, I, not aware of any plugin that does all that this does to benefit your website. Okay, I'm talking, trying to explain this thing. Uh, now, the, here's a p important point right here, is that which plugin should you use? And they're not meant to be used together. They could, but they're not meant to be used together. So here's an article on their website that basically says, if you are you have a website and it's only going to receive traffic locally and it's not going to have a global network of visitors that you can just use the short pixel image optimizer. However, if you're going to have a global audience and I think ba based upon the WebP, the smart cropping and resizing, you're just going to now want to stop using the image optimizer that they have instead swap it out for the adaptive imaging. Now, ShortPixel works on a credit system, so you're gonna wanna come here and understand how the credit system works to this. So essentially where uh, with, short, with the original plugin, one image optimization uh, was just one credit and it would just be done and you don't have to re-optimize that image. It kind of works differently with this other plugin where those credits get used on a monthly basis. There's more explanation here as well. So if you have a thousand images and you're using it for this smart cropping, the adaptive image plugin, and you're using the CDN, uh, you use a thousand credits per month for using that where short pixel image optimizer would just be a one time 1000 credits. And every month what it does is it re-optimizes those images for you, but it optimizes them and stores them on their del content delivery network. I think this video might be coming a little too complicated. Okay, here's what happens on the back end of the uh, short pixel website. You have your plan and here's some really cool stuff. Okay, sub accounts. So if you have clients and you want to limit how much of your credits that they can use on a monthly basis, you can go ahead and have control right here for each of those clients. This is really good if you have a care plan uh, providing this content delivery network this automatic optimization is very valuable. We get some reports here. Uh, there's your API key, and this is what you need to get the original plugin working. You need to plug in this API key. It's kind of a, like a license code. However, with the adaptive image plugin, we just add the domain right here to associated domains. Uh, and then we have our quota information down here. So here I am on a website. Uh, this is on SiteGround, which is gonna load really well anyway, but there's no content delivery network on it. So here I am, like I showed you, I did a search for short pixel, and here it is, adaptive images. I'm gonna go ahead and install this right now, and then I'm going to activate it. Now the settings are very bare bones, which is really good. If you're using their image optimizer plugin, I've already had multiple videos on that. Uh, there's a lot of settings and a lot of control, but this is easy because everything's done offsite. So I've activated it and you don't even see uh, any settings really, but here it is. Short pixel adaptive images, I'll click on settings. And so right here, what you need to do is you need to set your compression level. Lossy is going to have it be the smallest size. And so I'm gonna choose lossy right here. And this is an option that you definitely wanna check. 
and it's to have those images be served in this new WebP format all automatically done for you. That's huge. So I'm gonna click on Save Changes. And then uh, right here, uh, you can see there's some more technical control over what gets compressed and what doesn't get compressed and some of the technical aspects of it. Not that you need to be concerned with it. Okay, so next what you need to do is copy your URL. So I have my URL now copied to the website and then go back into the control panel, click on associated domains, paste that URL, click on add domains, and now you can see there it is. Uh, let's create a website. You can see my WP Crafters here because I literally just added this new plugin and my mind is spinning at how awesome it's going to be. Anyways, uh, here we go. And then now it's connected. And what happens next is when people visit your website, so I'm gonna visit it right now, when people start visiting or Google starts indexing your site, only those images, when the point of being visited, that's when it's gonna get pushed to the content delivery network and optimized, which I really like because if you have a website that has say a thousand pages of content, uh, if only a hundred of those are actually visited and the other ones are just kind of dormant content that you might want to clean up at some point, it won't send those off to the content delivery network. It won't use your credits. It won't do any of that stuff because no one's visiting it. It's kind of like how a caching plugin works where it doesn't cache a page unless there's traffic to it. Uh, so it's kind of that same concept applies. And pretty much that is all that there is to it. Now you could also use it, according to this article, you can also use this together with the image optimizer. So if you want to optimize the images and have those optimized versions on your server, you could do that and they can kind of work together. Uh, but there's really no need for the image optimizer if you're using the adaptive image feature. So what I'm gonna end up doing is running this on my website for a few days and come back and do a follow-up video because my website needs to get the traffic to those pages so that it can generate these optimized images, the WebP format. Uh, so I'm gonna make a follow-up video in a few days that will show uh, what the improvements have been. But this is some really amazing stuff. And I love when a plugin automates things or makes something possible that really wasn't that possible or easy to do prior. So anyways, short pixel, fabulous service and I'm proud of myself for not calling it short pickle in this video uh, but to visit their website wpcrafter.com slash short pixel and uh, what I'm going to see about doing uh, in the future seeing if I can get maybe like a 10% off discount code and get that down below I'm going to work to do that I think they once offered me that uh, so I'll see if I can work something like that out for you guys so anyways short Pixel, wpcrafter.com slash short pixel. If you have any questions about image optimization, about this plugin, you can ask me in the comment section down below. Other than that, hey, if you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, click on that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.